Yes, children. Good morning. How are you? Chapter four. Today we are again uh, here with chapter four, living in a community and caring for public property. Children. In the previous video, we have seen about the personal property and the public property. Children. Now in this uh, video, we are going to see some public properties. How we can take care of them? What things we have to do and what things we should not. So let's start without wasting time. Yes, children. Can you tell me which picture is this? Yes, this is your park. See, children are playing. So this is your park. See, children, park is also, garden is also your public property. So park and gardens are beautiful green areas set up in our neighborhoods for everybody to enjoy. We can't say that I will only go in the park. No, everybody can go and enjoy in the park. The trees and plants and parks and gardens serve as the lungs of the city. Lungs of the city means children, this is the place where everybody can come and the trees and plants and parks and gardens, they are the lungs of the city means they, uh, because their environment, their uh, everything is very clean. So we can say they are the lungs of the city. They help in cleaning the polluted area by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out ex oxygen. See children, in your science subject you studied about that trees, they are very useful for us. They give us oxygen and they take inside carbon dioxide. People use this park and garden to relax, play and even exercise children. Yes, so uh, what are the things which we have to do and what are the things which we don't? So follow the rules of a park or a garden children. Uh, throw litter in a dustbin children. If there is no dustbin nearby, collect your waste in a packet and keep it with you. Dispose of it only when you find a dustbin. Is it clear to you children? If there is no dustbin, what do you have to do? Yes, you have to keep that in one packet and, you, and then you have to dispose it when you find a dustbin. Okay, dispose means what children? The act of getting rid of something, especially by throwing it away. Okay, so do not pluck flowers if you are going in the gardens, if you are going in the parks. Don't pluck flowers, storm on plants and flower beds or harm plants in any other uh, manner because they are not personal property. Even personal things we are not destroying like this. So please don't pluck flowers. Okay, so uh, use swings and other rides in a park carefully. Okay, it should not like that. Now I uh, had taken my swings or rides. So now if it get damaged, no problem. No, you have to take care. Do not scratch your names or any other things on tree trunks, benches and walls. Some people are writing their names on the benches, on the walls, on the trees. If you are not doing that, if any person is doing, tell them strictly that this is public property. You can't do this. Yes. Walk your pet on a lease. Properly clean up its litter and dispose of it in a dustbin box. Walk your pet on a lease. See children, there are some paths on the garden. There only you have to walk with your pet. You can't move anywhere with your pet in the garden or park. So properly clean up its, its litter and dispose of it in a dustbin. Okay children, see the next slide children. Yes, you can see the uh, wildlife here in this picture. Yes, you can see the national parks, animals. Yeah, tigers you can see. See the picture. Yes. So wildlife century and national park. See children, and before also I taught you what do you mean by wildlife century and national parks. There are some places which are reserved by government of India. Okay, where you can't uh, move from your own or you uh, own means uh, any time you can't go there uh, or you can't uh, take, um, you can't hunt any animals. No, you can't use that resource for your benefit. No. Wildlife Sanctuary and National Parks are actually set up by the government to protect wild animals and plants in their natural habitats. Okay. Uh, so we have to protect them children, these wild animals. These reserves help in saving endangered animals from extinction. So some people are uh, killing um, animals. So we have to save these animals. Trees are not allowed to be cut down in this area as well children. Okay. So wildlife, uh, see what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, so dispose of plastic bags and water waste properly only in dustbin. As these items may be harmful for the animal if they eat them. So don't 
डिस्पोज थ्रू प्लास्टिक बैग एनी वेयर इन दिस वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एंड पार्क्स ओके वेस्ट प्रॉपरली ओनली इन डस्टबिन यू हैव टू पुट ओके सो यू शुड नॉट हार्म एनी एनिमल हेयर डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब एनिमल एंड बर्ड्स बाय थ्रोइंग स्टोन ऑन दैम एंड मेकिंग लाउड नॉइस इज नो डू नॉट लाइट अ फायर इन साइड अ सेंचुरी और अ पार्क इफ यू आर लाइटिंग एनी फायर यू may get punished also this can cause forest fire also children do not feed animals and birds in a park the respective authority take care of their diet so don't think that they are hungry so you will give them anything to eat no they are taking care by the people who are the authorities there okay so all these things you have to keep in mind see children they are very beautiful picture yes this is the taj mahal these are our historical monument children yes children a historical monument is a building or a structure that was constructed long ago and is of great historical importance children so historical new monuments are national treasure children and showcase a country rich culture heritage yes children something that is handed down from earlier generation heritage means what something that is uh handed down from earlier generation so uh, this heritage taj mahal you know that how many people many people uh, carved uh, and made this beautiful monument okay so taj mahal like the red fort the temple as mahabali puram and konark san temple there are few examples of historical mo- monuments in india children so many people spoil this monument by scribbling or scratching name they write their uh, names so it is not correct children we are destroying our um, what we can say public property okay so uh, spitting on the walls and damaging the property in general we can say we must help and support the government in preserving this places of historical importance so whenever you go to visit taj mahal red fort or any temple mahabali puram and konark san temple so if anybody is doing these things you have to tell them that these are our historical monument these are our public property you can't de- destroy them yes children do and don'ts what you can do for historical monuments throw your waste only in a dustbin do not deface the walls of monument by scribbling on them do not damage the monuments by removing or breaking thing inside them just as a keepsake okay so don't remove anything don't break anything in the uh, what we can say historical monument don't throw dustbin don't scribble on them okay children so hope you all understood why what i taught you today so what i taught you today i taught you about the parks and gardens what we have to do and what we don't then we talk about the wildlife sanctuary again what we should do and what we should should not then the last one is the historical monument what we should do and what we should not hope you all understood it thank you once again